Hello everyone, Reversal here, welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Go, and today has just gotten a lot better, the day pretty much is already over for me, it's 4 o'clock in the morning as I'm recording this, but, you know, I wasn't bad, and then Pokemon Go tweeted out something, and it turned out to be absolutely phenomenal, it is, in fact, so phenomenal that I came out of bad to just record this video for you guys, so... Without any further ado, we got developer insights regarding the brand new feature called Weather. So, as you guys can see, the raining is showing in Pokemon Go. So, you can only trigger this effect if it's raining outside as well. And uh, Niantic is implementing this feature shortly after the Gen 3 release, the 50 Pokemon we talked about before. So, that's going to be exciting. And Niantic wanted to share their thoughts and opinions about this. And Battle Parties. Battle Parties. Where have we heard that before? Let's jump in. Developer comments, developer insights, uh, they're really excited for the introduction, yada yada yada. Um, dynamic weather gameplay. The Pokemon Go user interface will reflect each trainer's current local weather. So if it's snowing, it's snowing in the game. If it's sunny, clear weather. Certain Pokemon will be more likely to appear frequently in weather that suits them the most. So if it's raining, water Pokemon will be spawning up more. If it's sunny, fire Pokemon most likely will be spawning more. If it's windy, flying Pokemon are going to be spawning more. So, you know, makes a lot of sense. These Pokemon will yield a Stardust bonus when caught. And also, side note, they, they, will, be, uh, they will be harder to catch as a result of that. Their CP will be higher because they have more attack power as well. So, make sure you take that into consideration. And then these Pokemon are more likely to have greater potential in battle. Developer comments, uh, essentially I've already read through this, but uh, long story short, what they're talking about is, uh, you know, they were thinking about certain features they could include with the release of the third generation, and seeing as weather plays such a big role in the actual Pokemon games, uh, Pokemon Sapphire and Pokemon Ruby, the third generation, they decided to go for a dynamic, you know, uh, with a dynamic, um, what, what do they call it? Dynamic weather gameplay inside of the game as well. So yeah, there it is. They, they wanted to do the exact same thing. And they did a really great job artistically as well. You, you just check out the gameplay I posted onto the channel. It's actually really insane. Uh, some of the little details like, like raindrops falling onto the ground and little puddles being created. It's so nice looking. So definitely check it out. My favorite, uh, my favorite one out of all of them is going to be snow. So, uh, yeah, I'm not going to see that a whole lot, but the moment I will see them, I will truly appreciate it for what it's worth. Then they wanted to share two changes to Pokemon Go. And trust me, the quality of life to the max, let's jump in, battle parties. Trainers will be able to collect and create name, um, and name teams up to six Pokemon in their Pokemon collection for quick access when participating in gym battles and raid battles. That's phenomenal, that's what we needed. So if you, in a gym, see a bunch of like Chansey, uh, Blissey, Snorlax, which I got to see a lot in my gym, I can uh, put a team together of uh, my champs, you know, and I don't have to scroll through my list anymore. Same thing with like if you're doing a Ho-Oh raid. Uh, you can make a team out of Tyranitars and Golem, which have like rock attacks in order to do that extra little damage on Ho-Oh, making it easier to, you know, take it down. On top of that, today as well, or yesterday, there's been a new update for Pokemon Go. And in the update, the battle system has been changed a little bit. No longer do you have to uh, tap and hold for charging a, uh, a, a move. But instead, you can just go out and continue tapping into the same area. And then once it, the, the special attack will light up, you have to tap on it and it will execute. The, the reason why this is so important and amazing is whenever you are lagging, and I had it myself several times, and I was trying to hold it, it often didn't really come through nicely, and I would, like, not be attacking for a couple of seconds. So having that just to tap is much better than tap and hold. So, you know, that is a really, really welcome feature. But saying we're thrilled to announce that we're also running out the first iteration of Battle Parties. So, uh, first, it will save to your phone, and uh, the reason for that is it's gonna, like, if you uh, change device, or if you use multiple devices to play Pokemon Go, then the battle parties will be gone. So, they're first implementing the feature, and then they're gonna be tweaking on making the feature better uh, later down the road. So, it's literally just a beta 
but the feature is there. The core foundation of the feature is there. So it's not going to be very helpful if you use multiple devices to play Pokemon Go. So there you go. It's been a long time coming. But it's finally here. Trainers will be able to increase the maximum number of Pokemon they can collect in their Pokemon storage from 1000 to 1500 by purchasing Pokemon storage upgrades in the game game shop. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Niantic, you're awesome. This is what we wanted, this is what we needed. This is, uh, some people will say, yeah, you should upgrade it to 5,000. No, I will say that. It should have been 5,000, honestly. Because, you know, Niantic, I don't know if you want to make money or not, but people be buying into that. I mean, I know that I'll do that, but uh, at the same time, it would be kind of overpowered if you save up all the candy for 5,000 Pokemon. Jeez. The amount of evolves you can do. I mean, you gotta have to really increase that level cap swiftly if you do that. But things aside, you know, it is awesome that you do that because, well, we need the storage. We actually need it during Gen 2 already, but better late than never. And then in the developer comments, this is really interesting. They're saying, <clears throat> We've heard your feedback loud and clear. With the addition of Pokemon originally discovered in the whole region, the need for more Pokemon storage is greater than ever. You will now be able to store up to 1500 Pokemon. Once again, you have to buy the item in store 200 Pokecoins for a 50 space upgrade. Make sure you keep that into consideration. And maybe I'm expecting some sort of sale whenever this get li gets li like released live, but I'm not really sure of it right now. And then we've also increased the minimum Pokemon storage by 50. So soon all trainers will be able to carry 50 additional Pokemon. This is an upgrade that we're getting for free everyone will be able to get this upgrade for free you don't have to do anything so effectively if you have a thousand storage right now you have a thousand fifty and then you have to buy nine times more the upgrade which is insane now Yantic, thank you thank you thank you thank you so much for giving that 50 storage for free for collecting those pokemon that is honestly great and that, you know, that is awesome. That is honestly just awesome. So, Battle Party is coming to Pokemon Go very soon. And then also, the Pokemon storage will be expandable to 1500. And on top of that, I know what you guys are saying about raid battles. Um, Niantic is working on it right now from what we've seen on the Reddit. And what they posted in support tickets. The raid battle timer will be fixed very soon. So, overall, Niantic is on a roll. We're getting close to the biggest update to Pokemon Go ever because this literally it will be the biggest update for Pokemon Go. I'm so excited to see what's going to be happening in the game in the near future. But until then, make sure you subscribe to stay updated with everything that is happening onto the channel. Everything that's going to be going down and so on and so forth. Um, because I'm going to be here to cover Gen 3 to the max alongside with gameplay and all of the shenanigans that will be coming around so uh yeah that in mind i want to say thank you guys so much for watching this has been reverse for pokemon go what is it doing i'm gonna be signing off and i'll see you guys back again soon with another one